హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ విజయ రాఘవ్ వీల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషనల్ హర్నియా టుడే ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ కామన్ సర్జికల్ కండిషన్ వీ ఎన్కౌంటర్ డ్యూరింగ్ అవర్ సర్జికల్ ప్రాక్టీస్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ థ్రెట్ దట్ ఎవ్రీ లాబ్రాటమీ సర్జన్ ఫేసెస్ ఇమీడియట్లీ ఆర్ లిటిల్ లేటర్ డ్యూరింగ్ ది పేషెంట్స్ రికవరీ ఇట్స్ అ టైప్ ఆఫ్ వెంట్రల్ హర్నియా which is a common term for any hernia happens in the anterior abdominal wall typically the herniation happens through previous surgical scar commonly it happens in the midline scar common in the scar below the umbilicus definitely common in vertical scar and rare through the horizontal scars and the three most important components of the incision hernia is the defect the sac and the contents what are the causes for this incisional hernia where the incidence is nearly 15 to 20% of all laparotomies end up in incisional hernia it's a very high number anyway one in five person undergoing a laparotomy will have a hernia the causes could be patient related could be disease related or technical reasons more than one factor can be contributed to that either it can be patient and disease technical and patient technical and disease so combination of these factors can lead to incisional hernias recurrence is to be expected if the risk factors still persist after the second surgery now what are the patient related factors contributing to incisional hernias any cause for impaired wound healing in the form of diabetes obesity renal failure smoking malnutrition steroid immunosuppression which leads to reduction in the wound healing capacity can lead to incisional hernias any cause for increased chronic intra abdominal pressure in the form of ascites copd recurrent or chronic constipation lower urinary outflow obstruction where the patient has to strain to pass urine can lead to incisional hernias and coming to disease related factors the site of incision obviously the midline incisions are more prone to incisional hernias lower abdominal incisions are more prone to incisional hernias because of sheer hydrostatic pressure causing divarication pulling pressure at the suture site emergency surgeries show a higher incidence of incisional hernias than elective surgeries post operative complications of surgical site infection wound gaping or wound dehiscence obviously leads to incisional hernias persistent post operative abdominal distension of any cause can put a lot of tension on the site of closure that can lead to incisional hernias technical factors the suture material used depending on the type of suture and the size of the material if you use a very thin material for an anterior rectus sheath if the tensile strength of the suture material is less than the tensile strength of the tissue the suture material will give way if the tensile strength of the suture materials more than the tensile strength of the tissue the tissue will cut through imagine using a stainless steel wire and anti rectus sheath is going to cut through and if you are using 3 or 40 suture material in anti rectus sheath the suture will snap in appropriate layer closure tension at the suture line this is the most important point in our anxiety to bring the ends together if you bring in with lot of tension there's a chance of this giving way wound failure is going to happen 